According to the latest report published by the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, OCHA, about the hostilities in Gaza Strip, over half of hospitals in Gaza are shut down, and more than two-thirds of primary health care facilities are shut down. At least 198 medical staff were killed, including 16 were in duty, 101 UNRWA staff killed, along with 20 Palestinian civil defense personnel and 49 journalists. Israeli tanks and military vehicles are still besieging Al-Shifa and Al-Quds hospitals in northern Gaza, in Gaza Front, Israel Defense Forces said it killed 21 Hamas militants trying to fire at its troops from the Al Quds Hospital in Gaza City. Exchanges of fire between Israel and Lebanese military group Hezbollah have intensified in recent days. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Monday warned that fire will be met with much stronger fire without mentioning the name of Hezbollah. First, an update on the situation in the surrounding region. Israeli forces also continued to shell areas of southern Lebanon. Iraqi armed factions launched another drone attack on a U.S. base in Syria. There have been more than 40 attacks recently on U.S. bases in Iraq and Syria. About diplomatic efforts, negotiations between Israel and Hamas to exchange the detainees have been going on behind closed doors. It also reported that an EU High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, Joseph Borrell, will visit in the coming days Israel, Palestine, and the parts of the Middle East to discuss humanitarian access, aid, and political issues.